Spruce Trees on Clearance at Home Depot. It needed a cute holder, so I spruced up this pot holder I already have in the garage. Keep watching if you want to see how I did this cute little DIY, spending zero dollars. First thing you'll need is some spray paint. This one I had left over from an old project. Next, I took this sample paint that I already had. Some gloves, they're not necessary, but it makes for a quick cleanup. Uh, Double-sided tape, but really any tape you have on handy, this is just what I already have in the house. A pair of scissors to cut the tape, a pencil with an eraser, and something to mix the paint if it's been sitting for a while. For the crisscross X pattern, I cut even pieces of tape. I eyed this, I really wasn't that picky about them being exactly the same length. I then took the cut piece and cut that in half vertically to end up with two thin pieces. Once you've cut a set of two thin strips, go ahead and apply them on your pot by overlapping the two strips. I will be removing the tape later, it's really just a guide for me to paint the X's on. The sample paint will also show up more if you do this step. Lay the pattern however you'd like. Now that you have that done, we're ready to head outside and spray paint. This is when those latex gloves are really going to come in handy. Can we just take a moment for my outfit of the day? This was also a DIY. Sorry guys, I thought my camera had been recording, but I am now applying my second coat of paint and then giving that some time to dry before the third and final coat. You'll then want to flip it right side up and spray one final coat, this time including the rim and the inside. Once the paint has completely dried, bring it back inside and begin to peel off the tape. You'll notice that the spray paint seeped through and also wouldn't fully dry on the double sided tape. If you want to achieve a more clean outline of your pattern, I suggest more of a paint grade tape. Going in with whatever paint you chose, start overlining the X's that you had taped off. Uh, I didn't have a proper brush to do this step, so I improvised with a pencil eraser. I really hope you guys liked this video. 
don't forget to subscribe and comment down below any questions that you have or if you want to see more videos like this from me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you really soon in my next video.